You only went in his chat because you basically can't say it to my face like the you are. You're not even worth the time and effort of the day, you immature little brat. Why don't you grow up? Act your f***ing age instead of your f***ing size, which is clearly two inches of f***ing patheticness. Now it's been a while since we've just looked at a good old fashioned toxic and entitled Twitch streamer. So enter today's streamer who literally rages and throws tantrums about everything. But without much further ado, let's get into it. Now I mentioned that this guy rages about literally everything and I wanted to show one of my favorite clips of him doing exactly that. Check it out. Another sweaty killer that won't let us touch Jen. Like, let me do the Jen. And it'll kill me, Jesus Christ. I mean, heaven forbid a killer stops survivors doing gens. Wait, what do you expect them to do? Sing you a song, maybe? I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't mind if Myers decided to serenade me sometime. But the one thing he complains about the most above all else is tunneling. And he feels very strongly about it, to put it lightly. Hey, I'm being tunneled, what a surprise. Love this game. Typical dog shit killers. Too much of a coward to do anything else. Take zero skill to be you. Go back to Fortnite. Reject. Strong words. Now you may already be in the comments typing away, Hey, the killer tunneled. He deserves it. He's a dirty bastard for that. But before you hit that send button, let me show you what actually happened. So the Meg comes over to get the save. Don't you dare f***ing save me. I swear. To oh my god. I'm going to get tunneled because of this bitch. And he complains. Despite the fact that the Meg just traded. You just don't save someone right in front of the killer. Just common knowledge. So as you saw there, the Meg saved. He ran away. The Meg took the hook. And the Ondio went away. Didn't tunnel. Didn't even sniff in his direction. Just completely went off to somewhere else. And the game progresses with one of his friends also taking hook. Before he encounters the Ondio in any other way again. So he's in the shack. Killer teleports to him. And he takes a hit. Now he then enters a short chase, and the chase seems to culminate with his friends coming along and distracting the Ondio. So they manage to f blind her so that she kind of gets a bit disorientated, and our streamer runs to the shack. At which point I believe the Ondio picks up chase with one of his friends. He stays in shack to heal, and this is where it all starts to unfold. Hi lady. Hey, I'm being tunneled, what a surprise. Yep, being tunneled, what a surprise. Being tunneled. So you miss a skill check after the killer has basically lost you, which tells the killer exactly where you are, and, and that's tunneling? So we need to update the definition of tunneling to basically be if the killer hits you and then continues chase, that's tunneling. The survival rulebook just gets weirder and weirder and weirder to me. And that is what spawns the flurry of insults that you saw before we started watching this. Like, he truly, truly, with his chest, believes that this Ondio tunneled him and deserved that treatment. And it gets even better. And I'm gonna get tunneled again. What a surprise. You were behind the hook. That was really weird. Just kill me. I don't even care. Just kill me. Just kill me. That's how shit you are. Uninstall, please go play Fortnite. That's for idiots like you. Brainless noob, what's the matter, eh? Too much of a p to do anything else. I bet you still love living in your mother's basement. The saddest part about that is when he decides to rage quit and basically just stands in front of the Undio, you hear his friend overcomes being like, no, no. He basically just throws the game with no regard for the fact that his friends are going to suffer in the exact same game with him, which really sucks to me. Also, another funny thing about his friends, the Meg that was playing with them also killed herself on hook at the same time he rage quit. And this is what they say about that. Oh, yeah, I went to go save her and she killed herself. That bugger player, he just that's just bugged me now for that. Yeah, it's really annoying, isn't it, when somebody rage quits while you're playing with them and kind of just ruins it for everybody? Just kill me, I don't even care, just kill me. Like, they just throw the game, you know, because they decide that they don't want to play. It's really annoying, isn't it? Just kill me, I don't even care. It's lucky, though, that you're playing with people who would never do that, you know? They would never just randomly rage quit during a match. No, 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 they would stay, no matter what was happening. Just kill me. Now, from what I've seen, to be honest, this is actually a common thing. His friends essentially bearing the brunt of his complaints, and it's never justified. In fact, it's pretty much 100% of the time 
this TTV's fault. A really good example of this actually occurs in the game straight after this one that I've just shown you. They go up against a dredge and our TTV spends the first part of the match in chase and he runs the dredge for about 83 seconds. And this is what he says when he goes down. So nobody got a gen done and that time I got chased, okay. Now, a solo gen takes 90 seconds to complete if you're not using a toolbox, not hitting great skill checks, not doing any of that. So it roughly works out to like the same amount of time and a gen literally gets completed like two seconds later anyway. But it's not the fact that no gens were completed that's the funny thing about that interaction. Because later on, in the exact same match, he spends just under 90 seconds running around the map doing nothing productive but locking lockers and opening one chest. He does no gens. He does nothing to save his team who are going down and getting hooked while he's doing this. But he has the audacity to earlier complain at his teammates when he's in chase for 90 seconds and they don't get a gen done. Sure. Makes sense. Also, in that initial first down that he has, this happens. Don't bother healing me, I'm good. Why are you teabagging me? Take a hit. No, come back before he picks me up. Oh my god. Like, I'm not. I'm not even going to say it because that that generally was not fair. I was 99, and I was literally ready to pick myself up, and decided to teabag me instead. You literally told this guy not to heal you. You said, "Don't heal me. I've got unbreakable." So the guy doesn't heal you. And then you start bitching and moaning about the fact that he didn't take a hit. He didn't heal you. When he said, don't do it, don't heal me. Basically, it seems like what happens in situations like this, which are common, and I'm going to show you another example soon, is that he tells his friends to do something. And then when they do it and the situation goes wrong and he ends up either dying or being hooked or something like that, he then tries to divert the blame and make it out like somebody else was at fault when they were literally just following his instructions. The guy even came back and took a hit after he got picked up and it still wasn't good enough for him. And as I said, this is not the only example that I have of this happening. Let's move on to a game he had against a bubba, which also features a very, very mature reaction from this guy, by the way, stick around to see that one. Now in this game from the start, this bubba has been face camping, which I'm sure doesn't come as a surprise to many people. And he actually manages to unhook somebody and take the down for them to run away. Oh, what's the matter? You can't, you can't face camp me, noob. Because guess what? You suck. You can't even teabag with Leatherface. That's how bad you are, mate. Ah, ha, ha, ha. You're a moron, Leatherface. Nah, 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 nah. You're a moron. You're not even good, mate. You're absolutely dog shit. He sat there like he's literally in preschool, going nah, 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 nah. This man is acting out his horrid Henry fantasy. And if you don't know what horrid Henry is. Go just look up the theme tune and you'll pretty much get the exact same vibe from this guy. Like who sits there and goes, nah, 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 with full seriousness, with full conviction. I just, oh my God, you are a grown ass man and you are behaving like a five-year-old. Who do you really think is coming off worse in this situation? The bubba or you? Because I can tell you the answer. <laughs> it's definitely not the bubba. Come on, face camp me like the noob you are. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, what's the matter, p***y? Want to face camp because you've got no skills. And the bubba does indeed face camp him. Whether because he has no skill or not is yet to be determined. And the streamer then goes into second phase and, to be fair, quite rightfully, says this. Yeah, he's just camping me. As soon as you get me, he's just going to instantly get you. Just do the gems, honestly. I'm just too much. Be careful because once I die, he'll come for you, trust me. Now, I'm pretty sure anyone in this situation would take what he's just said as leave me on hook, go and do the gens, I'm kind of screwed here. And yet 10 seconds later, this is what happens. Can try. I'm running out of time. Does anyone try and get me before I die? I'm literally about to die. I'm about to die. No. Yeah, that's great. Guys, this bubba is going to face camp me. Just do the gens. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Excuse me. I'm dying. Why is not saving me? Like, this is exactly what I was talking about. You tell people to do one thing and then they do it and you just get moany and bitchy at them. It's like he just wants to complain. You know, I've watched a lot of this guy's footage and in pretty much every single game, 
he complains about something. Now, obviously, following this little face camping incident, our streamer is not happy. And something that definitely doesn't make it any better is when the bobber comes into his chat after the game is over. I don't know what you mean, dance with you. All I cared about was saving my mate. You're the one that decided to um, camp like a noob. You're not even good. Are you talking? Is he in your chat? Yeah, he's saying GG easy, like a noob. Why don't you get on with it and move on? GG well played, move on. And if you don't move on, you just gotta get banned. Simple as. I won't tolerate your immature little behaviour like a child. You're the one with the skill issue. You're the one that needed the face camp. Clear skill issue, mate, because all you did was actually face camp. You couldn't even actually play the game, which just shows how bad you are. Because the fact that you couldn't actually play with a little thing called skill. I have more skill on my little finger than you do in your entire body. Get out, loser. Come back when you stop playing Fortnite. Now, at this point, I do want to give some major props to his friend. His friend is also a streamer. He's a TTV and he's playing with him at the time. I'm not going to shout him out because obviously he doesn't know I'm doing this and I don't want to bring attention to this guy who's in this video as well. But I do want to give him props for how he talks about and handles situations like this and the game in general. Are you guys, are you guys tempers are just far too high. I, I, I'm just chill, man. Nothing really phases me. Like playing these games, yeah, they're a bit, it gets a bit annoying now and again, but I don't, I just don't stress because it's just like it's just, it's just a game at the end of the day, just a game. You can always move on to the next one. You can, have, you can have trolls and whatever you do, so whatever game you play, I just, yeah, I just don't get too, too assy about it. There's always the next game, and he tries to essentially give that, that wisdom to his friend as well when he is in a similar situation, as you can see here. Uh, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't rise to it. Just, I didn't rise for it, I handled yeah. it. Just ignore it. Do I sound like I've lost my temper? No, but Exactly. He's still be giggling like I handled it and he's gone. I mean, yeah, you didn't lose your temper, but you weren't exactly nice. You weren't exactly chill. You were still pretty mad. And the guy then spends the next couple of minutes of the next match just randomly bringing it up, you know, talking about how this guy says, ha, skill issue, but he face camps and how that's funny to him. And like unprovoked, by the way, no one talks about it. They're talking about completely different things. They're talking about like booping a pig snoot and he just randomly starts throwing out little bits of salt every now and then completely unwarranted. But remember, he dealt with it, didn't lose his temper. It's cool. Sure. Things then unravel a little bit more when the bubber goes into his friend's chat. Thanks for the dance. I hope you like my moonwalk. <laughs> Is that what it was? So it starts off pretty innocuous. I think the bubber just goes in and says, thank you for dancing with me, because apparently that's what they were doing on the hook while he face camped him. And cool. Nothing really comes from that. But then our streamer looks over to, I assume he's got his friend's chat open and sees a message he doesn't like, which he doesn't let go down without a fight. Mad. Mad. Yeah, I'm mad you destroyed me. I'm mad you face camped me like a noob. You only went in his chat because you basically can't f***ing say it to my face like a f***ing see you are. No, it's because you banned him. You're not even worth the time and effort of the day, you immature little brat. Why don't you grow up? Act your f***ing age instead of your dick size, which is clearly two inches of Patheticness. How can you act two inches? Like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> like, I'm sure there was intended to be an insult in there about how the size of your penis dictates your personality. But sure. But all you came across as was a bit of an idiot. <laughs> you can't act two inches. And you also have no idea what this guy's age is. And also, why does face camping as Bubba in any way divulge your age? You know, is it a case of you turn 21 and hey, now you can drink and you also are no longer allowed to face camp as Bubba in Dead by Daylight? If you do that, you're breaking the rules. I was going to have fun with your grumpy friend, but you kept wiggling. Therefore I was going to have fun with your grumpy friend because I'm a new <laughs> child. Child? Child? Who's the one who literally just imitated someone's voice? My man, I have seen more maturity from children in a playground than you. You're here calling other people immature, calling them a child, telling them to act their age, and you're here throwing tantrums over the fact that somebody face camped you in a video game, imitating somebody's voice, and telling them to go back and play Fortnite. I feel like irony could grow a pair of legs and arms, slap you in the face, and you still would have no idea what it was. See it in my face, I dare you, you f***ing coward. You did. What are you on about now? You banned him. He knows what I'm on about. Did you 
unblock him? No. I'm not interested. Ah. <laughs> you clearly are interested. You're the one still acknowledging his messages, still giving him the reaction that he so clearly wants from you. Of course you're interested. You two are as bad as each other. You have the same maturity as this guy who came into your chat and tried to egg you on, tried to antagonize you and poke the bear. He knew exactly what he was doing and you fell for it, hawk, line, and sinker. And the thing is, is I feel like you kind of wanted to. I feel like you kind of enjoyed being this immature, being this childish and throwing this tantrum. It seemed to be that you thought you were above this guy in some capacity because of the insults you were throwing at him and the fact that he face camped as Bubba in Dead by Daylight, which is completely backwards. It's a game. Just after all this happened, his friend basically tries to talk to him and kind of calm him down and just be like, just ignore him. And this streamer just point blank ignores him and talks over him. To be honest, it's just kind of rude and disrespectful. Takes a real port to sit there and do nothing. Really does. They, they, they don't do that for, to, 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 to be good. They do it to troll people. Yeah, yeah no, reaction. because they're an immature little brat. Yeah, Twelve-year-old kids. Just, you just got to ignore it, dude. I tried that and he decided to come in and be a noob in my chat. Then you just block him. That's it. Drop to, drop to I did block him, but then he decided to come in your chat and continue the conversation. Know, Again, like an it. immature little brat that wears a nappy. Needs his mother to change it for him. Just ignore it, man. Shit face loser. Everything his friend was saying was absolutely bang on. You should have just ignored the situation. And this guy acts like he ignored it, but he didn't. He bitched and moaned while he was streaming, first of all, was calling this bubba all sorts of things. Then he responded to him in exactly the way the bubba wanted to in his chat by telling him he was immature and you know he had no skill and all this stuff. And then he watched his friend's chat and immediately replied when the guy was saying stuff about him in that chat. And he's acting like, yeah, I did ignore it. Yeah, I did this. He's basically trying to deflect any blame that he has in this situation when he didn't ignore it. He didn't do what his friend was telling him to do. And if he genuinely thinks he did, then he's just not listening to what his friend is saying. And he's not actually taking in the advice he's giving him. The worst thing by far about this guy is the fact that his friends are always the ones who have to bear the brunt of his rage, his entitlement, his complaint, all of it. It seems to always fall on their backs because he often swifts with them in his streams. Like, sure, he gets mad at the killers and, you know, he bitches at them and he gets mad at other things as well. But when he's rage quitting, they are the ones who also have to suffer and have their games completely ruined by him doing that because he decides he doesn't want to play. And they also catch crap when they literally do exactly what he tells them to do. You know, they follow his instructions and it's still not good enough for him. He still complains to them and makes it out like they are doing something wrong. Now, obviously, they still play with him, so maybe they don't mind. Or maybe it's just something they put up with. But to me, it just says that when this guy plays Dead by Daylight and when he's obviously not happy with the game, he turns into a pretty shitty friend and takes out a lot of his frustration and anger on them when that's just really not fair at all. I've said it before and I'll say it again, if a game makes you this angry, if you get this frustrated with a game, then don't play it. There are plenty of others out there for you to play. I don't ever see the point in putting yourself through that misery when you're clearly not enjoying it. Right, now that that is done, we are going to end our video in the usual new tradition that we've started to establish, which is to shout out a few positive streamers who I think you guys should go and check out to show some love to once you finish watching this. Now, you guys have been sending in a lot of wholesome streamers who you think deserve these shout outs, and I really appreciate it. So I've tried to work in a mix of people who have been recommended and also people who I often go and watch myself and hang out in their chats with and I think bring a good vibe as well. So the first person we're going to shout out is Peach Wagon. Now Peach is part of the Kindness Collective, which is a stream team aimed at spreading kindness in the Twitch community, which I love. I think it's amazing. Now it's actually funny because when I was trying to look for a clip for Peach, she was live. So I dropped into a chat and she was actually delivering a really wholesome bit of advice about the game of Dead by Daylight when somebody in her chat said that they were kind of suckish at Killer, which I thought would work really well to show you guys here. Like Killer in so long, I'm taking L's. Oh, that's okay. Honestly, the thing about like, again, playing Killer, like I knew that like, obviously the goal is to kill people, but like it also like really isn't a measure of anything because you know, you're doing the things. Like as long as you're doing the things, you know? I mean, I play a lot of Killer and when I don't get to kill anybody, I'm like, yo, they did a really great job, you know? I think it's really important to keep that in mind too because you're doing great things 
and so are the other people, you know? The second streamer I want to shout out is Bruce Seal, which continues my tradition of shouting out people with awesome names. Now, Bruce Seal is an absolute sweetheart and regularly shows support to all of the people that they enjoy watching, including me. They've often rated me and been very, very kind, very trusting with their community, which is always really sweet of them. And I just feel like it's time to show that love right back to them when they've shown it for everybody else. We can't. Yeah. We should take it to three out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that scared the fuck out of me. She she just appeared inside of me. How do you think I feel? I'm lightheaded from because I scream so fucking loud. <laughs> me too. That that's like the first time I've like properly had a shriek in my uh, daylight. Not that, a minute. Well, it's just like she didn't appear, and then like she was in us, and suddenly hag. <laughs> And last but certainly not least, we have Obsinia. Obsinia is someone who I started watching after meeting them at TwitchCon this year, and they're just an absolute sweetheart and always bring the fun, happy vibes that, you know, sometimes you need to cheer you up in a day. Now, the clip I found for you guys is one that I'm sure many of us can relate to when Vittorio was released. She probably won't appreciate me showing this, but I thought it was perfect. Oh, hell yeah. I'm not being funny or anything, but personally, as killer, this man is free to go whenever he wants, wherever he wants. Who am I to take this fine specimen off this earth? Oh my god, I'm a rat this man like I'm at the Grand National. <laughs> And that will do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this guy. And remember to go and show some love to those three streamers who I mentioned. And if you haven't already, of course, please subscribe to me. I do want to say a quick thank you for the 25,000. We've actually hit, I think, 26 now. So that's even more awesome. I really appreciate every single one of you. I'm going to make a much longer video about it in a week or so. But I just want to say now, thank you. I really, really, from the bottom of my heart, it means the world to me. And... I can never thank you enough, but I'll try. Go out there and enjoy the rest of your day. Go spread some positivity, and I will see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Bye for now. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give I'm it. gonna take, take, taking that crown from you.